to, uh, to yet another Salad Cat documentary. Here, here, uh, we are, we are currently recording your average skibbity toilet moth player. Oh, is randomly stumbling around in their natural habitat. The skibbity toilet morphs. That's, that's literally what the game is called. <coughs> oh, it appears we've located in it, uh, one of the wild species is of skibbity toilet players. Uh, I can't read the username. Um, <coughs> we're, we're, just, we're just called them baking now because that, that, that's what their hair looks like. As we see, like the, like the average skibbity toilet moth player, they are just aimlessly stumbling around. <coughs> and this appears to be their server room opens. And what's this? It's some kind of skibbity toilet. Uh, it, is, it, it seems to be messing up the servers for some reason. <coughs> and continuing to follow. Well, the vacant hat, but he just one he just aimlessly wanders around the center of area as these beings tend to do. <coughs> and he hops onto the central reactor. <coughs> okay, uh Alright, we have we have returned now. Oh, uh, and we have located more of the skibbity toilet plane. <coughs> And I'm now following another band here, but uh, this one is a slightly is a slightly darker grey. Yeah. Uh, leaving the church, he enters the toilet shop. Uh, uh, looking around and the toilet, uh, browsing, browsing all the stores and wares, uh, he walks out and then immediately walks back in to collect the golden toilet. Uh, <coughs> proceeding to walk back out and hopping over a fence. Uh, proceeding to hop over yet another fence. Uh, Stands there and acquires yet another golden toilet. Walking past yet another skibbity toilet, it, uh, he acquires another golden toilet. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> Anyways, oh. <coughs> all right, we have returned yet again to to and we appear to locate yet another uh, skibbity toilet player. This one named Amir. <coughs> And for some reason he has major constipation, which is constantly angry for uh, anyways, and just as their natural instincts tell them to do, they aimlessly wander around the map, occasionally stopping for no reason. And he just left. He's probably off to, like, go to bed or something, I don't know. And here we see the predators of the skibbity toilet morphs, the actual toilets themselves. Here we've encountered a rare breed of toilets, but this being a, you know, a conjoined twin of two different skibbity toilets, which are, we, we don't know their names, they're just, they're just referred to as skibbity toilets, I don't, I don't know their names. And as it appears, a prey has wandered into, a, into the predator's lair, <coughs> and presumably the predator chases after its prey, the prey, but there is a chance that it, ha that it did escape. It's somewhere. I don't know though. <coughs> Alright. Uh, it appears we have relocated him here. Uh, it, it, for it appears he must have teleported somewhere. Or he just left and somehow rejoined the same exact server. <coughs> and now uh, we follow this magnificent woman who is the, the same prey we saw earlier, who somehow managed to slip by the, the, the conjoined twin. As he just blankly stares into a corner, uh, probably not noticing her two golden toilets unless she already collected them, uh, she's still just standing there. And then she most likely teleported to him. And now, we are taking a look at the actual setting of uh, the skibbity toilet it morphs. One, one of the buildings in specific being Toilet Call. And here uh, is the inside look of the building, and with a wonderful reception rate and a golden toilet sitting on the chair. Uh, that, that's it. That's the entire building. One. And just a couple uh, just a couple feet away from the Toilet Corp is the Toilet Corp factory, where uh, presumably uh, the skibbity toilets are <coughs> <coughs> Opening up the door, there is a, th there are barrels leading to two different buttons, presumably both opening the door. To 
proceeding into the second room, uh, it appears we've spotted yet another predator of unknown name. <coughs> but uh, he surely looks quite psychopathic indeed. <coughs> it, it appears he's going to leave the confines of this room. And also, since they can't climb, and also if they could, they couldn't even get a um, the, the roof is a safety, is a safety area from a, from the, the skibbery toilet predator that is that located inside of the factory. Right outside of the toilet shed, there is a, there is the grand toilet wall, or rather a memorial of it, with one of the soldiers is still protect, still thinking that the war is still ongoing. <coughs> And due to due to his insane PTSD, he still believes the war is continuing. Yeah, despite the fact the war ended a couple of decades ago. And, and thus he think he assumes that any player that comes within his vicinity is an enemy and immediately tries killing them. Moving over to his location, we can locate a tank. Which had, which had barely been touched in decades. It, with, this is where the predator lives, despite the fact he can't even fit in the thing. <coughs> Narrowly avoiding him, we, we head into the wasteland of where the war actually took place. As we can see, a, an entire building has been knocked over, and there's rubble written, written everywhere. With yet another golden toilet. There are, there are several in here, so again. Yeah. Heading over across the street, we can locate the, the toilet dump, or the toilet scrap as it's referred to. <coughs> uh, here we just see uh, piles of dirt, a golden toilets, and a random camper van that is most likely inhabited by uh, something, I don't know. And checking inside, there, there appears to be nothing but a normal, uh, but a normal old toilet, which is exceedingly massive. Uh, it was the same prey we saw two times before, but aimlessly stumbling around, as their natural instincts command them to do. And here is where the Great Toilet War uh, of 1946 happened. Basically just World War II World toilets. And uh, here is the main reason why the war started in the first place. Because Toilet Corp was creating too many science experiments and it, it got way out of hand, creating a toilet the size of a building. Well, not actually the size of a building, the size of like two stories, but still. <coughs> Realizing that this is a, a problem, both the toilets and the players banded together uh, to defeat the massive toilet. However, as you can see right now, the war was an entire failure, and ended up aban and they ended up abandoning this quaint little town. But this is now where the giant tortoise is lived. <coughs> Ending off, uh, there is a rare breed of uh, skibbity toilet players that are a rare mix of the actual toilet and a player. Uh, these are known as players using morphs. Uh, here we see one attempting to climb the toilet court building, uh, attempting to claim yet another golden toilet, if that, if that is what I believe it is. All he does is just hop around and, and spring forward. Um. Yeah, these players tend to become really random things. And uh, basically any time they want. As we can see, that toilet spider just turned into a camera looking man. Oh, he doesn't even look like an actual camera man, he's just a camera for the head. Mm. 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 So, uh, as this documentary has shown, there, uh, there, are ma uh, there are many varieties of people who play these types of games. Uh, there, are, uh, there are predators, prey, and a mix of both. I hope you enjoyed the documentary. And, um, I don't know, I could subscribe or something, whatever.